Hey everyone, Cody here from the Protocase team, and today I'm going to show you how to add marking to your design inside SOLIDWORKS. So we're a one-stop shop for custom sheet metal and CNC machine parts. Part of our ultra-fast manufacturing services is the ability to add part marking to your custom enclosures, panels, and parts. Part marking is also often called permanent marking and can be done through graphics or one of our part marking processes. So I covered these different processes in a previous prototech tip, so check out the description below for that link if you want the full info. So let me walk you through adding marking to your CAD model so it can be then added by one of our graphics or part marking processes. So I have a design where I want to add marking above the cutout to label it. I'll sketch a construction line above this cutout. I'll make the length of the line just a little bit longer than I expect the label to be. This can also be adjusted after and I will then dimension this line to the cutout so it doesn't shift location. After this, start your text command and type in what you want it to say. To change the size, spacing, and font type, I need to uncheck Use Document Font. After this, I can change the size and font through the font menu. There's two other boxes outside of this to change the width of the characters and the space between the characters if need be. Now, after the sketch is complete, we can go into the Extruded Cut command. We recommend setting the depth to 0.001 inches when doing markings as this will allow our team to identify them easier. Once your cut is complete, it helps to rename the cut extrude feature to something graphics related. Now rather than using the text command, you could also opt to import a DXF. This option may be easier for you if you already have a vector graphic file as these can be converted to DXFs and imported into SOLIDWORKS easily. You should be able to copy the outline of the DXF from your software and paste it into your SOLIDWORKS sketch. I would recommend making this into a block and scaling it down in the block menu if you need to adjust the size. Again, with this, you will extrude cut it into your part, and similar to this, you could also draw shapes and extrude them into the part. If you're bringing in a detail logo, this may be difficult to extrude. If you leave it on your SOLIDWORKS part as a sketch, we will still be able to use it. So one thing I wanted to note, if your part marking includes anything other than letters and numbers, you'll need to stick to either digital print, silk screen, or laser marking. If your part marking is only text and numbers, we can use any of our part marking types, including dot peening and rubber stamping. However, these other part marking types are not as aesthetically pleasing, so we recommend sticking with graphics or laser marking. Aesthetics may not be as important to you if the marking is on the inside of the enclosures, where they won't be visible. So, this concludes our prototech tip about adding part marking to your CAD model. We've got some helpful links below in the description. Make sure to check them out. If you have any questions or want to discuss your particular requirements, contact us. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.